Hello student, in this module we are going to illustrate the application of R for mental Hensel test. This test, test is basically applicable to compare two survival curves. As we have seen that for survival analysis non-parametric approach is Kaplan-Meier estimation. Kaplan-Meier estimation gives us the estimations for all patients during their follow-up studies. But when we apply the survival analysis, one of the important area is generation of hypothesis and in hypothesis it can be taken as the both arm are having equal hazard ratio or not. Especially the application of survival analysis in area like clinical trial when we are having two arm one is called intervention arm and another is called existing arm we try to find the difference between these terms mean these two arms on their survival durations. So, what happened? We do give two type of treatment to two groups of patients and followed them for certain period of time, maybe few years. Thereafter, we try to find out in which arm there is a better survival duration in comparison to other arm. Once we compare the two arms, the approach is log rank test that we have illustrated in our earlier model. But here we will illustrate the applications through mental Hensel test using R. First we will show how to call data in R, a sample data example will be considered. Thereafter we will plot these survival curves and after that we will test their survival curves through mental Hensel test. Now we are going um, uh, for mental Hensel uh, test using R. End of this uh, module we will uh, see uh, survival curve comparison using R and uh, creating the survival object through R. Let us start. Now we will uh, import the data. Uh, data is basically obtained from uh, ovarian cancer study uh, by Envanson 1979 paper where very well a few time is given survival or censoring time of the patients. A few stat is uh, present the censoring status of those patients. Age of those patients is considered in years and it is uh, taken during the baseline observation received or DS residual disease presence or not given as yes or no and uh, coded as 1 and 2 for all patients accordingly and treatment group is given as Rx and again ECOG status of performance status is better or not is given for um, those patients and again we will attempt here that the therapeutic effect difference on survival durations on uh, to get to go through with mental health and test. Here the, we will go for reading the data and importing the data after that. So we are calling into our editor. If you go in our editor and put time as uh, observation of 59, 150, 156, like all the individuals having observation time mentioned here. Now we are going for represent the status of those patients as given as 1 and 0 um, that we had mentioned in earlier slide uh, the code and Rx is treatment of these patients given or not uh, or cases are control. In your case you can consider also uh, two kind of treatment 
and that by coding 1 and 2 here we are giving two type of treatment by putting 1 and 2 and uh, yeah again uh, assigning the age as of these patients uh, of 72 like for first patients age is 72.33 uh, when he uh, entered in this study uh, second patients age 74.49 years like that all individuals having corresponding age uh, entered um, and uh, and this whole age are assigned to a variable name with age now we are going for another variable that is residual disease presence or not it is giving by one and two coding now we are going for ecog or performance code that is ecog.ps uh, again given by code 1 and 2 for all corresponding individuals. Now we are assigning the data as data dot frame to a variable to a database called ovarian uh, by, by uh, considering all variable that we had uh, called earlier like time, status, RH, X, age, residual days and ECOG dot PS score. Now we are going for loading the important library that is library survival and in this library we will work for further maintenance and test the basic preliminary analysis to do the mental health and before doing the mental health and test is sharp fit uh, functions and within parenthesis capital S U R V functions uh, again parenthesis time and status should be considered um, uh, follows to rx that is treatment given so rx here we are considering to find out the difference between uh, survival difference between two treatment in place of rx we may also consider other variable like sex or uh, ecog dot ps or um, others others factors uh, typically the code uh, categorical factor and we may find out that difference so it's here for illustration purpose we are considering only one variable that is rx but this Rx can be replaced by other factor and you may find out the treatment wise survival difference and after saying the Rx comma we are asking data equals to over here since uh, in earlier slide we had uh, assigned the whole data as a or data base as a over here. so now we are calling as data equals to over here. Now, whole functions are see first line we have uh, assigned the whole function as ovarian dot sar now again we are calling that ovarian dot sar to give the plotting to us so once we will see we will plot ovarian plot then after that we are putting the l2i equals to 2 to 3 that will decide our how the plots will be shows to the uh, graphs thereafter we will putting x lab to show the duration in times duration in days here putting if here you are not put uh, here it didn't mention that y lab but if you put the y lab equals to inverted comma if you put the probability of survival the y plot also will show so first we will see here what is the estimated functions coming numerically by by entering ovarian dot sir and thereafter we will put we will see the how the results coming for plot of almost next slide another another comment is there that is legend 100.4 and is given as rx1 and rx2 so legend 2 of it will in this graph only what treatment was given as rx1 and root and rx2 that can be decided can be shown in this graph and since we are putting 100 point comma 0.4 so through y lab the plot will start from 100 uh, x axis wise from, from 100 uh, the legend will start again so through y axis till 0.4 the legend will start to to show the title of the graphs we are uh, writing the title into inverted comma over in cancer study so as of your study you can replace this title inverted comma over in study by your suitable name to show the graphs now the whole results will come in next slide we will show yeah, this is the uh, study uh, output uh, x lab has we mentioned that uh, inverted comma with a duration in days so it's showing that with x axis since we didn't mention anything through y axis so y lab not mentioned so through y axis nothing coming here 
interesting we mentioned that uh, legend with 100 uh, comma 0.4 so see here the legend started from y axis 0.4 and x axis from 100 and those curves are given into the pictures two curves are there the long dashes curve is for rx1 and small dashes curve is rx2 so we can see that rx1 was um, not better in comparison to rx2 since uh, overall survival every times rx2 was having better than rx1 so and in these uh, curves the uh, cross mark showing the sensor observation uh, uh, you can see that initial between uh, 400 to 500 days two sensor observation observed in rx2 and uh, again rx1 and uh, nearly 700 800 days 750 to 800 days two again sensor observation present um, were in rx2 uh, and 800 days plus uh, two sensor observation present in rx1 so these are the observations present uh, sensor observation present showing by cross marks uh, in both the arm as well as the step functions uh, showing that the, if the event hop happened the death happened then the function reduce um, uh, from one step to another the curve reduce survival curve reduce from one step to another how is the however the curve started from one for both the arm but in of the study one curves that is for rx1 end up with probability nearly 0.4 uh, and another curve that is for rx2 end up with the probability of survival with nearly 0.5 that is uh, it can be concluded at the study in rx2 treated groups are having better survival in comparison to rx1 treated group uh, they are having 50 percent survival at the end of 1200 days whereas only 40 percent survival have been observed for uh, has been observed for rx1 at the nearly end of 1000 days now we are going for mental hands and taste uh, the mental hands and test can be performed with uh, log rank uh, test also here the function is called sub d and before uh, within parenthesis we have to put capital s u r v over in a few time over in a few step and after that we will put that uh, over in r x so here since our data um, uh, status is given as one for um, censored and two for uh, not sensor that is death. So, that is why if you stat equals double equals to two is considered to denote the uh, death patient's data. Now, this is the output given by R and it shows that um, um, both are uh, were having equal number of individual that is 30 whereas observed uh, and expected nothing were observed and expected because all patients were having um, censored here and since we are not getting any difference between it, it was not possible to perform the uh, difference numerically through log and test. Now we are going for R code for treatment wise comparison. Now earlier we had done uh, the uh, um, uh, sub difference on for status 2 now we are going for treatment wise comparison serve fit with serve and if we put the serve fit and serve time and status equals to 1 for both the treatment it will give us a result that in rx1 uh, uh, total number of event um, were 7 and uh, in rx2 5 event were there and median survival times is observed for rx one is 638 days with uh, lower limit of confidence interval it is giving. It is to be noted that log rank test is a hypothesis test to compare the survival distribution of two samples. It is a non-parametric test and appropriate to use when the data are right skewed and censored. It is widely used in clinical trial to establish the efficacy of a new treatment in comparison to a control arm, um, control treatment. 
So here uh, two can be can be con considered as the control arm and one can be considered as the treatment arm and the treatment arm efficacy can be compared with reference to the control arm that is Rx2 here. Uh, here it is again it would be noted that when the measurement is in time to event the log rank test is suitable. This test is also called the Mantel Cox test or uh, namely after Nathan Melton and David Cox. The log rank test can also be viewed as a time stratified Cochrane Mantel Hensel test. Now earlier slide we had considered status as uh, 1 and Rx uh, follows to Rx. Now we will go for R code for residual dot disease wise comparison. Uh, now earlier slide we had considered Rx or treatment wise comparison. Now we are replacing it with residual dot ds uh, and we are assigning it as feed dot by residual dot ds and uh, again we are asking the survival sub feed function and after that sub with time and status level equals to 1 follows to residual dot ds with the data equals to over here. Now if you put feed by residual dot ds it will give us the uh, result mm, here in both case for residual 1 and residual uh, 2 we are getting maximum number of uh, mm, patients and uh, and the events where for residual 1 was uh, th 3 events happened uh, 3 death uh, occurred in for residual uh, dot ds and for residual dot ds for uh, 2 9 event occurred and the 95 percent confidence interval found with 638 for lower bound for uh, DS1 and DS2 it is found with 329. Uh, so, here we can see some kind of difference is there, but we do not know what exact the difference is there. Uh, so, for that we have to go for uh, mental hazard test or to perform the how the difference is present and is really significant different or not. Now, go to next slide. We will now, when we have found that difference is there, then we will go for uh, plotting the cards. So, feed by Rx will give uh, the survival feed for status 1 double equals to 1 follows to Rx. The same code we are using here and calling the feed by Rx uh, to give us uh, the result. And this feed by Rx is plotted, we put it into the plot functions to get the plot for this output that obtained by sub feed and sub function and confidence interval equals to true if we put then confidence interval will also come and if we put the color the, uh, the the line of this curve will be given as black and gray for black will be taken for the point estimates curves and the gray will be taken for uh, confidence interval estimates curves and l2 i t will give us the broader or smaller range of these graphs and legend will be taken as 1 to 2 that is from the y x axis 1 and y axis 2 it will consider. Now see uh, the before going for plot we are getting the result um, that we are already discussed here. Now we are going to next slide for output curves. So this is the curves showing here and the gray lines uh, given the confidence interval and, and the uh, black lines give the point estimate. However, uh, yeah, since we are having uh, two uh, groups in Rx, so for both the groups Rx is coming here, um, for both the groups survival curves is coming here, uh, the uh, for uh, first group it shows as black color and uh, for second groups it is showing as gray color um, and uh, you can see that there is a something difference in both the arm. So, uh, black color lines is quite uh, lower than the gray color line. So, the first treatment group having uh, second group second group is having better survival uh, crops in comparison to uh, first uh, group that can be uh, um, that can be inferred from here. Now, we are going for uh, again for survival curves. Uh, was replaced into <coughs> residual dot d's. Then again, we are putting the same function plot and replace the 
uh, feed by do, feed dot by rx by feed dot by rx residual dot ds again we are put, putting confidence interval and getting the results this is the numerical output and this is the r output it is to be noted that uh, as uh, mentioned in uh, matching chewing and parmont's survival analysis book there is a slight difference in log rank test method and mental health and me uh, test method for computation the hazard ratio uh, as part of kaplan meier calculation they compute the number of observed event that is death in each group denoted by observed a and observed b uh, for group a and group b and the number of expected event assuming null hypothesis that is no difference in the survival that is uh, expected a and expected b for both the group a and b the hazard ratio is then obtained as hazard of expected observed of observation of a group uh, divided by expected observation of a group by observed um, observation for b group by observed observation for uh, expected observation for b group but in mental health and methods it computes first computes the v and v is the sum of the hypergeometric variance at each time point then it compute the hazard ratio as exponential of observed of first group minus expectation of first group by v so this is the this is the basic difference uh, between uh, calculation of hazard ratio by log rank test and um, mental health and log, uh, hazard ratio test but uh, i like to refer to that uh, book by machin chungin and parmar sarvagan analysis book for theoretical details but uh, this package is there is um, log rank test is considered to be platform for as a mental health test also that we have seen and this curve we have plotted um, also uh, uh, mental health test is approximated with the pearson chi square test for equality of two groups um, where it is calculated the chi square test with observed minus expected square by or uh, expected square and sum of these all measurement uh, Uh, that is the thing. So uh, there are two way. One, we will plot the graphs uh, that plot functions after assigning this sharp fit and sharp high value, and uh, we can get visualize the survival difference between these groups. And then thereafter, we can go with um, uh, numerical statistical inference by by calling that that assign function that we have seen here. I think that it will help you to run the mental health and test. for survival analysis in other survival analysis work in this model we have seen the applications of mental health and test to comparison the survival curve this test also known as mental cox test named after nathan mental and david cox the log rank test can also be viewed as a time stratified cochran mental health and test when we are having to arm those arm like treatment and control arm can be compared through mental hazard test not only that when we are having variable and those variable can be stratified into more than two arms then those arms can also be compared through mental hazard test for example and sample study we have seen in this model this library survival and other tool can also be considered for other survival analysis data where mental hazard test is applicable